It's Benji Cole, son of Al Cole from CBS Radio and host of People of Distinction. And on the line with us today, we have Dr. Frank Douglas. And we're going to be discussing his amazing book, Addressing Systemic Discrimination by Reframing the Problem. Now, it's available for purchase through Amazon as well as barnesandnoble.com. But if you guys want to gather everything that Dr. Douglas has in store, you have to head on over to his personal website, frankdouglasbooks.com. There you'll find more information on him, more information on this fantastic narrative, as well as find the hyperlink set up to take you to the purchasing page. So one more time, that's frankdouglasbooks.com. Talk to us about some of the mental health issues that minorities and people from those communities can experience from systemic discrimination. You know, it's interesting that you ask that because that's one of the things that really struck me during these interviews. In fact, all but two of the interviewees said the following, that for years and even now, they feel like they are having PTSD-like symptoms. Wow. And that led me to coin the phrase or the 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 coin uh, the symptom, if you like, which I'm calling organizational cultural stress disorder syndrome (OCSD). Organizational cultural stress disorder syndrome syndrome. And why cultural is because you will see. Uh, in the the book, as you have seen uh, in the book, uh, I describe a number of cultures within organizations that can be psychologically safe or unsafe for the employees Mm -hmm. in those organizations. And, uh, you know, the people we interviewed covered a wide range of uh, Uh, of disciplines. They came from industry, from academia, from government. Uh, A couple were physicians. Uh, And so it was alarming to me when they said that. And uh, I even uh, proposed in the book that we probably need to pay more attention to the impact of continuous systemic discrimination, the impact it has on the mental health Uh, of individuals. Last question here for you. Dr. Douglas, we know that many books have and continue to be written on diversity and inclusion. Well, I don't think there's any denying that there has been a resistance of sorts in this country when it comes to dealing with these issues. So we want to hear it directly from your mouth. Why should the audience buy this book? Well, I think the reason they should buy it are, well, there are probably three or four reasons. Let me put it this way. Uh, The the first I would would cite, which again was uh, was very uh, helpful to me and pleasing to hear it, but a surprise when a number of the interviewees said, you know, this method that you're using can be used for other problems, not just systemic discrimination. Uh, and in fact, I think they're right. You find that this methodology that we're suggesting, uh, you know, can be used uh, in other areas. You know, secondly, it, it addresses discrimination in several areas, not just in racism. It addresses gender. It addresses ethnicity. It, rejects, it addresses religious LGBTQ plus. So it addresses discrimination wherever uh, uh, it occurs. And I think the final reason why uh, individuals should buy this book is that it will give them an opportunity to step back and look at the experiences they're having and see a method in which they can be empowered to have the dialogue they need to have with the oppressor, be that oppressor, a supervisor, a manager, uh, you know, be it a a member in the community, uh, etc. A new version of addressing systemic discrimination by reframing the problem. Until you walk in my shoes, a reframing methodology to overcome systemic discrimination by Dr. Frank L. Douglas. 
Jack Canfield, co-author of the Chicken Soup for the Soul series and the book, The Success Principles. I think it's a brilliant book. I really strongly encourage it, uh, everyone to read it. it it's uh, great if you're an aggrieved person, I want you to read it. And if you're someone who is managing a company or a division of a company, I think it's really important at this time in history to read the book. So I Don't miss this powerful and eye-opening exploration of the path to change. Until You Walk in My Shoes by Dr. Frank L. Douglas. Coming soon.